<laughs> and it's like okay mm -hmm. yeah i was asked question um about this whole car thing Ooh. it's the time live money and freedom with baddest bras in the city that's all i'm here that's the time live money and Okay. I need to slap off some lip gloss because I feel like I should cut off the fan, but it's so hot. Okay, I am about to get ready. I might cut the fan back on because, yeah, no. I'm about to get ready to go to church. Hey, I saw Disney, by the way. She might do the intro. <laughs> I should have posted and said, like, send me topics, but I didn't do it. This is very much impromptu. Um, I always rewear my wigs. This one is by... Wow, African, thank goodness the headband thing is on the inside, not sponsored. Got my hair braided down yesterday, so I'll take some gel and slick my own hair back real quick. Put some Eco Style gel. My chubby like it. <laughs> and we're gonna put the wig on first so that we can do the makeup and then we're gonna get dressed. I need help putting my necklace back on because I can't do it with my press-ons. I like the kids' press-ons. They always come in handy. Cause I still haven't done my nails yet. I just don't feel like it. This is a wig grip that doesn't really grip or stick in the back anymore. So I kind of hold it like this. You could use like a hairpin or something, but, and then I slide that wig on. Just like that. I should have walked. Girl, I just ripped that lace. Oh my God. I should have washed it so that the curls would be freshly popping, but we fine literally <laughs> it's like 73 today and i rode my bike i love riding my bike it's so peaceful and just fun everybody in the neighborhood is like walkers right i say they're like walking dead <laughs> everybody in the neighborhood not everybody but they like taking walks a lot and i've seen a few people riding bikes now and it's giving yeah okay i see the influence because i see y'all riding bikes before i moved here but okay so this is just water and whatever i put in my hair last i don't remember when i wore this last i'm gonna just reactivate it by wetting the hair we're gonna speed through the hair if i could find the first video from when i reviewed it i'll link it this brush is from dollar tree by the way y'all send me the most funny things to my dm somebody sent me a video of this girl talking about how dollar tree petty because <laughs> first of all they 125 now Second, why y'all selling the handles separate from, <laughs> girl, they selling the handles separate from the, the broom itself. So now they getting how much out of you for a broom? Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. I should've got everything out. That saves time when you got your products sitting at the top already. I was gonna wait to film this after I clean my brushes, but girl, we, mm-hmm. Yeah, I be wanting this uh, dead on shot without being in the way though. This is the e.l.f. concealer. Um, I use a lighter one underneath to kind of clean up. And I just follow what it's already doing. Give me a topic. I don't have a topic to discuss. Talk about family relationships. What about them? Oh, no, right. I'm going to use my Tarte Foundation. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we got to talk about these. This is the Tarte Foundation Tan Deep Neutral. I matched myself in the store so proud of myself not shocked or nothing but just like i'd be proud of myself when i do that so i take the foundation and i basically kind of go along the top part i feel like doing my brows is easier when they already cleaned up boom you said talk about what fa family dynamic you said to talk about what we always talk about friendships it's 2023 if if, if the friendship is not established at this point as either being a good one or what helps though with pollen if pollen is doing you bad? Is it a B12 shot? Oh, steroids. I think I get a steroid shot in my scalp for my dandruff. Not dandruff. Apparently, I never had dandruff. I have psoriasis of the scalp. Yeah, didn't know that until I knew that. By the way, y'all was asking me about that. Like, how could y'all get the exact same things and all of that? It's not really over the counter um, things that I get. It's kind of prescribed by him. Wait, I like to color correct sometimes. Naturally, just looking at my face is giving like, you don't need to color correct. OG, classic, LA Girl, Pro Conceal. I put a little bit right here. 
just a little bit. I like the way my concealer look under my eye. <laughs> when I do like the concealer right here but no so those products are like prescribed which is why I really kind of stopped saying the names of what they are because it's not like I can say go on Walgreens buy this so I stopped mentioning it I hate filming without a prompt without like a guide but this is how I get ready this is exactly how I get ready I'm gonna set it now so that when I put the concealer on the orange doesn't like blend right into the concealer and then it makes me look crazy don't be that person to comment saying <laughs> this because we like it all the brushes are going to be elf look at how this blends and i did it myself what i tried on like three different ones i was like can you see it and my mom was like nope and i was like that's what you want but i like dressing up it's fun i did my hair my makeup i'm going to show my outfit and my fragrance for the day my best videos are the ones where i just kind of like just keep going anyway or it's some of the ones that i had no plans on filming but last minute i was like i'ma just do this like this bantu knots video on my channel didn't even expect that i went to dollar tree one time because i just love dollar tree that video did insane so to me even when i'm rushing i still kind of just like to which i don't know why i'm rushing i got time i've just been text three times like destiny be on time and it's like okay so I'm gonna leave home at six and it's currently 4.58. For whatever reason, the camera just cut out right here. I didn't even know until I imported these clips to edit. So I just had to delete all of that and whatever I was talking about. The e.l.f. concealer in deep caramel. I'm gonna slap that on right here. Boom. I like to go on the nose so I can go ahead and start contouring it already. Boom, boom. The girls on TikTok be doing theirs like this and they skip that part, but I'm gonna show y'all what I do instead. Right here yeah and i like to take the mac one because this one matches my skin tone to do the upper lip with you can color correct this part too if you got like if you didn't get it get the hair taken off it'll really blend it with your skin tone while that's sitting for a quick second i'm gonna take the anastasia beverly hills this super old if, it, if makeup expires that's that's bad don't don't copy what i do <laughs> and i dip into this light one the first one right here but no, I'm glad I have glasses because the pollen does bother me and my eyes just like really, really, really itch. And I think it's because of it sitting on your contact lens. And I'm not that person that feel like taking my contact lens in and, in and out to keep rinsing it. Spring is giving glasses over contacts. Yeah, I've been using my gua sha. And this whole time, I thought you're supposed to go up. People talk about defying gravity and not like having your skin sag. When I used to put my lotion on, on the neck area, I used to rub like this. And I was creating a double chin myself. So now, when I do my skincare routine and I use my little PMD little gua sha thing, I be going down like this instead. You probably can't see like a huge difference right now, but I could tell. When I put my lotion on and I rub, I be like, okay, okay. Don't stare right here the whole time I'm filming. Don't play with me. <laughs> Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Y'all like my earrings. Walmart. Four dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely not politics at all. Let's talk about how I don't know when it happened. Social media is giving topics that people just didn't used to discuss at first. Everybody think it's like, yeah, it's okay and it's it's on brand and it's it's hands on type of thing. And it's just like we used to not talk about that. I saw a few tweets about Swarm, but I haven't watched. Uh, this is the Elf. I like the e.l.f. sponge with the e.l.f. concealers. Really, if you weren't using e.l.f. concealers, it's still a nice sponge. No, I saw different tweets about Swarmed. I haven't checked it out yet. I'm not that person that if enough people say that they dislike something or this movie wasn't worth going to see it, blah, blah, blah. I'm not that person. I like to form my own opinion. So I'm probably still going to check it out. All right, most asked question while we're here. I hope the light's not bouncing and I end up trashing all of this. It's tingling around my nose as if hair is on it and it's not. And I activated something? Oh my god, why is it doing that? Mm. Most asked question um, about this whole car thing. I don't have my own car. I think I addressed this on my sister's channel once when she interviewed me. But my brother let me use his car until I choose my own car. And I used to kind of take y'all car shopping with me. But I look at nice cars 
and I agree a lot of the ones I have looked at are very nice cars worth leaving with but there is a major indecisive side of me it's like wait I like this one I like that one I like this one I like that one I like Porsche I like BMW I like Mercedes Benz I'm curious about a Jaguar and that indecisive side of me just kind of doesn't make a decision sometimes and, and now transparency I sometimes feel like I regret my brother letting me borrow his car because it's got me standing still it's got me comfortable and I hate when I I hate being comfortable I hate feeling and like thinking like does that make sense like when you just kind of be like mm moving slow with your feet because you just I don't like that this is the Milani no let's use this one let's do let's grab what I normally grab because I think that's the look y'all wanted to see uh but yeah honestly I'm just comfortable right now and part of me sometimes thinks about just leasing a car because I feel like when you buy a car you're saying I want this one right like you're saying, okay, I'm committed to this car. And even if you change your mind, if you're buying it, I feel like you're upside down most times as opposed to a lease is giving like, okay, I can just go give it back. And that also gives me the option to say like, I'm not ready to fully commit, but I know I want a vehicle. I can lease this one, give it back. Lease that one, give it back. Now I can try this one, this one. It's kind of like dating. Uh, that's probably a bad example. <laughs> not try. <laughs> But before you commit fully, you let's consider the leasing dating. And before you, a person says like, okay, they get on their knees and get their little pants leg dirty and say, will you marry me? You know, like, okay, I want to be with this person. And I feel like buying a car is kind of giving that. It's like, I know now out of having considered this one i've drove that one i've drove this one i've drove not like test driving that's just once it's still like an indecisiveness that's there and i hate that side of me and along with the overthinking side of me but it's like once you commit now it's like okay i know that i want this one um so i don't know but that's that in short uh along with the market still just being crazy when i was like looking at uh mercedes benz when i was taking y'all to that dealership with me a lot um one specific location we got two in memphis one of them was saying is the other location not doing that at all but whatever the sticker price was they just texting on like twenty thousand dollars for no reason and i don't feel like i never move with like a got a point to prove mentality so although it's given like oh okay that's fine you texting on the extra 20 it's like what like what and so then that side of me was like, mm, let's look around somewhere else. Not like I said, not saying that you don't have it, but it's just like, if this is supposed to cost $10 and then you get to the register and they say, oh, we're just going to charge you $30 for it just because. You're going to be like, what? Just because? Because of the economy being bad, it's like I'm going to get a little more money off of the sale of this car without selling another car. And that to me was stupid. So then I started looking around at other different makes and models of cars but the reason that i had stopped like openly filming myself is because i don't like for social media to rush me and it was given destiny that car was cute why didn't you just pick it shut up get a car stop talking about cars it's gonna come out of my account every month just mine nobody else's and so decisions like that matter to me they're important to me and if you're not new here then you know destiny moves in the type of way to where it's like I don't get nothing that I don't know for sure that I want. I just, I'm not the settling type in no way, shape, or form. I don't like to, nothing for the sake of just like, to just say that I got it, I'll go ahead and do like, no. To just say that I'm 31 and I should be married by now, I go ahead and, yeah, go ahead because no, what? It's gonna be right or nothing at all. Kind of like with my couch, girl. I waited nine months on that couch. <laughs> and it was like, you need to pick something else. Pick something else in between time. No. No. And so I move like that in every aspect of my life. It's got to be exactly what I want or I ain't going to touch it. Do I wish I wasn't like that sometimes? I kind of tweeted something right here. I put it there. Sometimes I wish I wasn't like that. Sometimes I don't mind that I am. Because when you do things prematurely or you kind of rush to make certain decisions, you end up you're going to change your mind eventually and then you got to go back. 
enough about that. Basically take, ooh, this e.l.f. palette. It's an e.l.f. contour palette. And I tap into both of these on a flawless face brush. And I use that to contour just a little bit. And then once I start doing the contouring part, that's when I take this scarf off. Because we don't have much on my forehead yet at all. I knew it was going to lay it. I knew it was going to lay it. Except it pulled it off right there. That line is harsh. See why you got to... There's nothing on this brush. It just helps to further blend everything down some. Looking like you and me. Yeah. I've been cooking a lot more. I've been posting it on Instagram and y'all been like, okay, that's the cooking more, da da da. How do I put this? When you get to a point where it's like every time I cook, people cracking jokes about me. <laughs> like in real life online it just be like yeah, i be eating i just don't show you that i be eating but now i've gotten to a place where it's just like i don't know i've been posting it more yeah i asked to see my shrimp and grits little recipe so i'll probably show y'all that i want to do a little shimmer though since i'm wearing pink i'm about to use a little bit of the pink one right here it's kind of light but i forget what it is but up to like almost 30 something we get to wear pink i think they say light pink i went to the mall to find a new pink dress but I didn't see one and I think this spring is not giving pink like I went to Macy's Dillard's Express a lot of stores I vlogged it so y'all will see that it's gonna it'll be coming and I'm just like okay the designers and everybody that's making the clothes is not giving pink this spring like I couldn't find it and that weird side of me that's like you wore this dress like three or four times if it calls for pink that's the pink dress I'm about to put on because <laughs> Girl, that's the only one I got. It's not the only one I got, but it's the one that I would want to wear. Because my other one, these other two pink ones I got, that I would consider something to wear to church. Uh, They are... Ooh, that's, that's dropping. I'm going to spray it so it don't drop the glitter on the bottom part. I should have did this before sitting. Ooh, this is a pink one. Let's use that. That's pretty. I like that. Oops, that ain't what I dipped in. Mm. so yeah you can wear your clothes as many times as you would like that's what it's given and it's given you can see that so i'm gonna tie it back on again we got a little pink a little pink yeah the girl is be wanting me to play in color more but i like to stick to what it is that i like and what's true to me sometimes we do things like oh okay let me do this for the video i would have to do that when i'm not actually going somewhere i want to rehearse my speech one more time i think i'm gonna say it to my sister I'm going to get her to put my necklace on too because I can't with my nails. And after three attempts, I stopped trying because that's how I broke it when I had to get it fixed. This is not new makeup, but the only two blushes I own, if you ever see me wearing blush, it's either giving Milani Rose Doro, Doro or it's giving NARS Orgasm X. And I think I want it to really give pink. So this one kind of gives that. So we're going to tap into it. Do it like this boom blush kind of wears out first so sometimes i do more only thing i didn't do because i don't want it to look shiny i'm not a professional tapping just into a light one and setting where you did the concealer to clean up it tones it down to make it more matte you can also do this with the regular face powder that you used just a little bit can't see what i did that's the point all right using the same elf contour palette i use this little brush it's like slim i got it from dollar tree and I run down the nose like this. I stay really close to the center when I do it, kinda, uh, to make it look a little snatched. A nose job. Mm -hmm. And then brush it down into the brow. When we think people are attractive, we, we, I read somewhere that you like the symmetry within their face. Looking like me and you. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to church tonight. I gotta speak on program. Mm -hmm. Tonight is the night. So lately I've been taking the oak lip pencil instead of cork for a lighter outline. Y'all ain't gonna be able to see it at all. I'm telling you like, look, this is what it looks like. I like to leave the whatever makeup got on my lips while I was doing my makeup because I feel like it fills in any lines. It makes it look really smooth and it doesn't. Y'all will see, you'll see, you'll see. It's barely there, but you can kind of see that I line the lip is Naked by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I slapped that in the middle like this. What did I do last time to finish it off? It was a Fenty one I used. Where is it? 
Okay then, I'm gonna just use like this gloss. Gloss has changed the more you use it to top your lipstick and stuff. It just changes and changes and changes. But just slap on something that's kind of clear to further smudge. Mm -hmm. All right, taking the MAC Fix Plus, everybody that told me try that, I finally have it. That was not the middle of my face. Where did that go? Liner. This is the Stila liner. Waterproof. Stay all day. Mm -hmm. I did not want that to be that big. My mouth is not that big. Put y'all on to my lash secret, right? So, I like to take a lash base or serum. Oh, it's white. And so, when you put this on, I feel like the white first. And then doing the whatever mascara you want to use. It makes it pop. It's kind of like... When people polish their nails white before they put the color on top, it really makes the color stand out. Really, I don't need to do it to the top ones because I'm going to put on false lashes. But naturally, my hand goes top, bottom. And it kind of grab and clump. And it look real pretty on the bottom. Like I love in a picture for the bottom lashes to be like, pow, in your face. So this is the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. I used to wear this a lot. I finally went back to it. Especially for what I was saying earlier about spring and needing to wear glasses instead of contacts. Because I can't wear like false lashes with glasses on. They like hit the lens the whole time. <laughs> so kind of sweeping that along the bottom. I try to make sure I'm touching the lash and not my skin. Show y'all, every time I do my makeup, the comments is like, show us beginner friendly. Show us like uh, either beginner or no makeup makeup. I have this routine I do where I skip foundation. I pick my brushes up and whatever comes off. Like how I use the blush. I wouldn't re-dip into the blush. It'll just be giving like whatever it's on the brush will come off on my face. So I'll show y'all that. The video that I was speaking of when I went shopping. That shop with me vlog. I think I'm going to do like shop with me and then haul everything when I get home. But I'm posting out of order. That's the look I had done in that one. It wasn't much at all to me. Obviously, terms like that is subjective. To me, I would say this is barely anything. Somebody else might say, girl, you got on too much makeup, blah, blah, blah. Subjective terms, depending on who you ask. I want to straighten my natural hair out like one more time before it get hot. Because summertime is not going to be given. Pressed out natural hair. I had to sit here this whole time and then talk about Bel Air. And I'm all caught up. But today, Thursday, so it's another episode out. I'm going to watch it tonight. Next video, we got to, yeah, we got to talk about Bel Air. Hillary? Love Hillary. Her song be stuck in my head at all times. I see you. See you. Normally I use whatever concealer is left on my brush to do the part girl and that's a lot. So I'm going to tap it like that. I just like for it to stand out from afar. Oh, like that one string that's right here. Kiss robe lashes. Some people literally watch a video waiting for a moment to boom there's something I can correct. I was like, all right. All right. Here it is, the Dior one. Both of these are really good for the last thing I mentioned. Lancome or Dior. And I don't see my lash tweezers. Things always come up missing when I want to film. So we're going to just... Please don't touch the eyeshadow, please. Oh, I let them sit to perfection. Yes. Not me getting a what time you get out of church question. Be for real. We know what time it start. That's all. That's it. That's all. Highlighter. Girl, this thing just ain't ran out. If you ever seen me do my makeup, it ain't never been a different highlighter. The glow comes from within, though. Don't ever forget that. Okay, y'all. Well, so, we are finished. Um, I wanted to do the same type of video for TikTok. Like, where they get dressed on there. But, uh, I got about 25 minutes. So, it's giving throw your clothes and perfume on and get out of here. I should have cut the end of the lashes. So I don't like how it's hanging on the ends. I might get my small scissors and just kind of snip it off real quick. But let's go downstairs and get dressed. So I can show you how I'm stunned on the first lady. How we slay, okay? This is my dress. Nina Leonard. It's in a medium. It's not new. So it's not something I can link. Don't hate me. I just like any kind of dress that's giving playful, extra little attention to detail. I think one time I commented into something about should I do like a what to wear under there video. And y'all was like, oh my god, yes. So this is a Spanx. Right, snap it at the bottom and it's smooth in the back because the first ladies be snatched, so I'm trying to give snatch too. When I have time, I'll do it on B roll to show you all before and after, like with and without this. 
All right. Ooh. Okay. All right. So fragrance. We're gonna do. I'm gonna go for baccarat. Am I? Yeah. I like for the fragrance itself to kind of match the outfit, and this matches that to me. I should have brought one of the lights downstairs. Love the smell of this. To top it with a little bit of a glow. I'm also going to do the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. My hands be slippery and then I can't spray it. Yeah, I should have brought one of the lights down. It gives you like a soft gold little glow. So the perfume that I'm going to wear is the Mason Francis Baccarat Rouge 540. Here, here. Here, 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 here. This side. On this side, ankle, ankle. And then I gotta put my same lotion combo on my legs as well because I haven't done that yet. So in my hands, I take a pump of the Suave or just like whichever lotion you're using and then I put in some of the one that has fragrance to it. Like that, right? Normally I put my lotion on before I sit down to do my makeup and everything. So I'm tripping doing it now. Is that too bright? Wow. Foot lotion is going to be the Burt's Bees foot cream. Not on the bottom because you're going to slip and fall. <laughs> uh, but my shoes are netted. I ain't going to sit there since I just laid this there. I might stay in my dress. But I'm going to do the top part of my foot for the part that's going to be exposed. Um, and then I put on like a regular lotion when I get out of the shower already anyway. Why am I not sitting on my bench? I got a whole bench at the foot of my bed. Oh, I might have to do different shapewear. Y'all see that? We're about to change the shaper. No, ma'am. I'm gonna do this black when I got because the straps are thinner, but it's that same idea, basically. It's giving one piece swimsuit. <laughs> Couple of rings out of here, just to slap on. Just a few. All right. It's like later now, I had to film this when I got back because I didn't have time. I had to be out the door and I was on time for church today, so yeah, get into it. This is my dress because we were supposed to wear pink tonight. I'm carrying my black YSL bag and I matched the black with the black with my Bottega heels. And y'all know I kind of messed my chains up, so these are not the Bottega chains that it's supposed to be. It's just like a necklace little situation that I rigged up. Quick little hack. Um, what else? Hair. Makeup and then my uh, rings from Walmart. Some of these are from Target. I just did two on this hand right here, and then my Cartier bracelet, YSL bracelet to match the YSL with the YSL. And then this is my oh, that's bright. Wait, now that's kind of dark. And this is the look. I like curly hair because you just kind of wet it and then you're done. I was snaking in the car, so and that's the look. I like it. Let me know what y'all think. I forgot to do highlight. Like normally I do like a little bit of highlight right here. But less is more. I like a little soft, little natural type of beat. If y'all enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. Everything that's linkable will be in the description box down below as well. If y'all want to see more full get ready with me, give this video a thumbs up so that I'll know. I'm about to go and eat my Taco Bell before it get cold. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to y'all later. I've seen in a while and that's a fact, but you already know that.